Hi, I'm Howard Kuntz. I'm with Apex Plumbing. Today we decided to make a video about some different drain cleaning acids. We have people that call us and they have clogged drains and a lot of times they've already used a drain acid. So what we did is we went to a local hardware store and we bought this Drano. It's 80 ounces for $8.29. At the same place we got this acid and it's seven dollars and 49 cents and it has one liter and then we have some clobber this is what we normally use and it's 32 ounces and it's about 25 dollars for that that's the industrial strength the clobber is so we wanted to try an experiment today and see if we could determine which one is best and what um, homeowners could use to help them Okay, so let's look at what the ingredients are. In this Drano Max gel, the ingredients are sodium hydroxide, sodium hypochlorate, and sodium silicate. In this one, the ingredient, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. And then in the clobber, it says sulfuric acid. Okay, so today we're gonna, we chose some things ahead of time and we're gonna put some different ingredients in here that might, we'll see if they can dissolve. So I have just some grease, all purpose grease. This is like what you'd use on a vehicle and we're gonna just take and scoop out a couple tablespoons of this and put it in the bottom of our, of our sample. See what happens to it. Here's a leather glove we cut up. We thought this is pretty heavy, but maybe we'll put that in there. So we'll put one piece in each. The other thing we wanted to put in is we have some shop towels. These are pretty strong. If you got those in most drains, it would have a hard time going down. We'll put one of these in each. And then lastly, we have some hair. We're going to put some hair in each one of these. And lastly, we're going to take an actual rag. I think we'll just cut it up so we don't use up too much of the acid or that. But we'll put a chunk of a rag in it. You know, if your children are taking a bath and a washcloth went down the tub or something this would be kind of what it would be like and a lot of times when we snake drains we do pull back rags we pull back stuff like q-tips we pull back flushable wipes now we're gonna put some drain cleaning acid in okay so inside of this now we have a portion of a shop towel we have some human hair we have part of a leather glove, we have a little bit of a rag, and we have a couple tablespoons of automotive grease. Now we're gonna fill each of these up about half of what's here, or in other words, about an inch with drain acid, and see what happens. Okay, today the temperature outside is probably about 85 degrees and this has been in here for about five minutes so I wanted to see because sometimes when we um, put this in a pipe it gets really hot so I wanted to see what the temperature reads here on this and it looks like that it's about 80 
83 and that's 135 137 there you go. okay it's been about 15 minutes since we poured this in so we're gonna look and see how everything's looking so here we go in the Drano the shop rag is still there the cloth looks like it's still intact and the rubber glove looks like it's in pretty good shape. I do not see the hair. And we're going to look and see what the grease looks like that we put in here. We may have to pour some of this out. No, there's the grease. I can feel it down inside of here. It's a big... There it is. Okay. Now let's look at this stuff here. The hair is still intact. The shop rag is intact. The glove is intact, although it's showing a little bit of dissolving here. And here's the grease that's kind of floating on top. Now let's go to whoop, let's go to this one and look and see what it looks like. The shop rag looks like it's mostly dissolved. Here's the lump of grease it's still got quite a bit of it left and the leather glove is still intact pretty good so we'll just stir them all up just a little bit and then we'll let it go some more it's been about 35 minutes we're gonna look at it one more time and see where everything looks like it is there's still a little bit of hair on top the rag is, the rag and the towel is there. Let's feel how the grease is. There's some grease on the bottom. In this one here, the grease is still kind of intact pretty good. You can see the hair somewhat. The rag is still intact. There's the hair. And let's go to this one here. The grease is still some intact. I would say it's about halfway gone. The hair's gone mostly. Well, there's a little bit of hair, I see. Actually, there's a lot. The rags are gone. The leather is still. All right, it's morning time, and now 14 hours have passed since we poured this acid in. Let's see what it looks like. It sat overnight. Um, in the first one here, the rag is still here. That's probably, it's a shop rag, and that's probably mostly because it was uh, maybe a, made out of some kind of plastic. Here's part of the other rag we put in there, and it's still pretty much intact. The leather, the leather looks thinner, and it looks like it's come apart just a little bit, and I do think that the hair is all gone. Now let's look in this one here. Oh, and the grease, let's see about the grease here. You know, it's hard to say, but I don't feel much. There's the stuck on the bottom some. This one, the grease is floating, and here the grease still is. That chunk of grease has not dissolved. The shop rag is still here. The cloth rag is still intact pretty good. Let's look at the leather. The leather has mostly decomposed. There's kind of some chunks of it, but it's not one big piece it doesn't seem like and the grease is still there now let's look at the clobber Whoop. Um, it looks like the grease is still a little bit here it's floating but it's mostly broke down into smaller chunks um, the leather this big chunk here is the leather the leather is still mostly intact although kind of shriveled Here's some of the kind of the chunks of grease floating on top, but both rags are gone. It dissolved um, the cloth rag and the shop towel. The hair, of course, is gone. Um, and the grease is in smaller chunks. So, what would you say? I guess that you would say each of them does different things. The clobber seems to dissolve the stuff 
that's even a little bit plasticky. Um, this one here dissolved the didn't dissolve the grease very good, even though it says it dissolves grease. It didn't dissolve the rags. It took care of it broke the leather down. And this one here took care of the grease and the hair. Kind of like it promises. But a little disclaimer here that this clobber is industrial strings and you can't use this unless you're a licensed plumber. You can't even buy it unless you're a licensed plumber. And you gotta use caution with all of these. So that concludes our video.